And this is a good example of hard versus soft filters. And as I explained earlier this morning, and what we mostly used was the hard edge, we're gonna focus on using a soft edge where we don't have that hard line because it might really distract right. from the colors in the tent and it won't blend. We need something that's gonna blend easier with all of our lines. So I'm gonna find a, so let's see a medium soft, maybe a six soft. Uh, three, six, and nine three, are six, the ones and nine, that you right? use. See, I'm learning, I'm One, learning. <laughs> two, and three stops of light. So a uh, nine being, uh, in, in this case, three stops. So I got a nine soft here. I'm gonna grab that and then I can actually give you a quick show on how, how that works. And it might work and I've got a six soft here. And normally I'd keep them all in the same sleeve, but that's normally. <laughs> all right, so I'm back in the tent and I'm going to screw on our ring until we get a good lock on there. Give it a little dust, little dust check. And I'm gonna start with the six soft and see what kind of results we get. And I'm going to push it down so that it's starting to cover the sky. And immediately, if you look at it, that shot compared to the shot before it, already we're at night and day. And the soft is blending enough into here that we're not even knowing that we're using a filter at all. It's doing exactly the job it's meant to do. It's not creating a hard line, but rather a soft line. But we're still a little dark in the foreground and we could probably capture more of the detail, more of the information. Um, so I'm gonna just try and do another metering check. I'm at F4.0. And so I brightened up the foreground and lost the sky again. So now I'm gonna go and add a nine filter and get a meter reading off of the shade. In this case, I'm actually metering off of a specific area. I'm bringing in a stronger filter. Man, that campfire smells good. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So you can see that we're starting to pick up a lot more detail in the foreground. So if you see the difference and we're preserving the sky, we're starting to see a little bit of the effect in that, but we're not still quite getting where we want to be. So I'm going to try again. And you see, I'll take a few frames, especially when you got a tent flap and everything. So it's looking pretty good, but we're still losing the sky. So I'm going to combine them now. So now I'm taking a six and a nine. I'm taking that sky down a full five stops and seeing how much we can get that to work. And looking pretty good. So using that shallow depth of field, I'm gonna even go even shallower. I'm gonna get a little zip on the tent flat so that it's a little bit more framing my shot. And as I said, I'm using the tent as a framing element. I'm also getting a little smoke over here. And I'm gonna try it again. Shallower depth of field. And I recomposed in a way that it looks like our sky fell out a little bit. But if you notice the sky changes because we're using, um, the value of metering keeps picking up darker and darker areas. It keeps going brighter and brighter. And so I'm gonna make sure that the filters are going all the way across the top. So let's do that again. And I have a feeling this will be the one. And now I'm keeping an eye also. That looks pretty good. They're still a little dark, but I think we've got all the information there that we're gonna be able to just get enough of a bit lightness without sacrificing our background and getting a sense of place on what we're getting.